It's considered one of the top automotive events in the world. Hundreds of the most rare vehicles on the planet will be on display at the 25th annual Amelia Island Concours d'Alegance. 25 years, and Bill Warner is the founder and chair of the event. Welcome back to the show, brother. It's good to see you. Oh, it's nice to be here. I was just After 25 you. years, it's nice to be anywhere. <laughs> I, I, was just, I was just thinking that 25 years, and when you started this thing, did you... Did you, I mean, I know you're obviously very great at what you do, but did you even imagine it would be at this level and be one of the top car shows in the world? Not really. No, our big goal was to get to the next year. You know, that's, that's when I had dark hair, no glasses, no pacemaker. <laughs> it was a much simpler time. <laughs> and I was just telling you, it's, it's crazy to think that you're already back here. It doesn't feel that long ago that we were just talking about the Concorde d'Alegance. <laughs> Yeah. But you guys are, I imagine, how soon do you get back into prepping for just the, the next year? Oh, we're already working on next year. Really? Oh, yeah. You, got, you have to. Yeah. And, how, and how does that work? Who, who are you working? I mean, you're, like Roger Penske's coming this year. Oh, yeah, and so we're how thrilled you, about that. How do you get that him, and then is he bringing some of his cars? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's bringing, I think, eight of his cars. They're bringing, we were going to do all 18 Indianapolis 500 winners. Oh, wow. But that the logistics are moving them around the field because they don't fire and run. <laughs> so we're doing one for each decade. Okay. So five of the uh, Indy winners. But we have 35 Penske cars from the time when he drove and became national champion till the Pagano Indy winner this year. Wow. And uh, I know you were telling us um, briefly about the picture where he had all the trophies yeah. around him. So tell us about that because it wasn't, it's not exactly what it looks like. Well, no. Um, we needed a photo once we announced that Roger was going to be the honoree, so he sent a photo of him with what they call the, the baby Borgs, the yeah, little there. trophies, yeah. each one representing an Indianapolis 500 win. Well, a photo had 17 trophies in it. So when they were running for the 18th, we had Roger Sal, who's a genius in Photoshop, move his hand over and put the 18th trophy in. So I had it on my phone. So when Pagano crossed the line, I texted it to Roger. That now you don't have to go in the studio again. We've already got your 18 trophies. Very <laughs> so, nice. 18 Indianapolis 500s. That's, yeah, and that's, now he owns the place. He owns the track? He bought the track about Man. three months ago. And that's he bought amazing. the IndyCar series. So and what, he got the Presidential Medal of Freedom this year. So he's, he's doing okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all culminates okay. at Amelia, right? <laughs> now, wait, yeah, of course, you're going to get to see him at Amelia. Now, he doesn't get to race in the race anymore that he owns the track, right? Uh, no. In fact, when he was young, he was offered the opportunity to get his rookie test at Indy, and he turned it down because he bought a Chevrolet dealership. And at that time, General Motors told him, if you're going to be in this business, you can't race, after he'd won the national championship. That's the poster that was done that you see there. That's done by Tom Fritz of Van Nuys, California, and it features a lot of the cars that uh, are important to Penske Racing and Team Penske. Unbelievable. So, and I had I had the pleasure of meeting him once, um, and, I, and I was I was telling Curtis this. I was like, he is the reason why I actually got into hosting. Really? And it was the Indy Grand Prix that happened back in Houston, and me and yeah. him met. I had the opportunity to host that event, and he is the nicest guy. Not only that, if he meets you once, he remembers you. It's unbelievable. Really? I, I could not imagine that. The amount of people that we got to get you up there. I know. Yeah. Roger. <laughs> All right. So look, for you, Bill, you've done this show. There's 25 years. What car is the bell of the ball this year? Which one are you looking for? Well, the car up on the screen right now is the Mercedes-Benz Stromliner. It's the uh, Grand Prix car that Juan Fangio and Sterling Moss drove to the World's Championship in 1955. Uh, that car is priceless. Uh, that, that would be one. This one is going to be seen in public for the very first time. It's the Corvette GS2 what from the, the Chaparral Museum in incredible. Midland, Texas. It was the prototype uh, Corvette, and we're doing all the mid-engine prototypes. We're going to have 11 prototype cars from Chevrolet from 1963 to the current new C8. And I hope I get my C8 on the field on Sunday. I'm hoping. Oh, you think you'll get it in time? Uh, it's built. It's just going through the quality checks right now. You would think they'll make sure they get it down here for this show. Well, my friend at Nimnik Chevrolet called me and said, who do you know at GM? I said, well, I said, well, your car went to the first of the list. I said, well, I know the president and the vice president. I said, well, that helps. So yeah, I'm hoping it'll be there. We're doing cars of Scaglietti, the, the Italian coach builder, and that's his high water mark, the Testarossa that was done in 1957. Such oh. incredible pieces of machinery. And history. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and John Oates, wonderful John Oates, uh, he and his wife Amy are celebrating their 25th anniversary. And in doing so, he's donating his race car to be auctioned off for spina bifida. Wow. What a, what a nice gift from our friend John Oates. That's well, really cool. Thank you so much for stopping by and bringing this information to us. And oh, of course, my pleasure. we're going to post all of this again on our website just a little later at firstcoastliving.net. So be sure to check it out.